open. Mom, be nice to to me. I love when people in Mitsuri. Last in my water bed. Mashallah. <laughs> You're such a clever boy. What are you reading now? Mom, me. Now, what are you reading now? A story. A story. Mufida, Khali, Mwurs. <laughs> my dad was Usman Khali. Daddy Usman Khali. My mom is Ali um, Rashida Khali. She was really young before. And um, my mom was originally from Constantia. My dad from the District 6. And um, from District 6, they moved into um, into an area in Cross Park and I've been living, I lived there all my life. I have four sisters and one brother. In 2003 I got married, I'm I married um, Ahmad Moors. <laughs> um, from Lansdowne and um, Alhamdulillah this year we've been married for, uh, for 17 years. And yeah, so that is basically, in a nutshell, me. <laughs> My dad, he was very, very well-known person in the community. He was the Bilal at um, Alice Mia Street in, in, in Cape Town. Yeah, my grandparents is Haji um, Ahmad Khali and um, Haji Khalima. My mom's family is quite a big family. My dad is a twin as well. My aunt um, Fatima Halant. She is um, she's my, like my right hand auntie. I actually speak to her a lot. She reminds me of my dad, which I obviously miss very much. And yeah. My dad my name was about 10, 11 years ago, if I'm correct. Um, my name was on the 1st of January 2011. Me and my dad were very, very close. So I think that's where we hit off when my aunties now off now really tight. <laughs> we were basically married for 10 years and we didn't have any kids. And from the um, we've been in and out of hospital trying to figure out what was wrong with both of us. He was still very tiny when he was born. So when he turned three months, he had to return to the Hylas clinic. At that point, we, we didn't know there was anything wrong with him. My sister had a baby just before, and he was doing things that much he wasn't doing. So we obviously picked up there was something, um, he's not reaching his milestones in terms of the months that he was in. And um, that's where we went back to um, the hospital and then they diagnosed him and they told us um, your son's got um, spastic cerebral palsy. Ahmad also went through um, quite a patch. His mom and held in December of that, that year prior. For us at that time we had no idea what it was. Um, spastic was to do with muscles, um, quadriplegic. That's all for his um, limbs, basically, and um, yeah, so he's he's been diagnosed with um, uh, quadriplegic spastic spastic cerebral palsy. Um, it is a, a lot of words at the time. We had no idea what it meant, how, and what. Started getting some fits. We weren't sure what it was, and Ahmad to stop the Google. He just tried to figure out. The description going into Google trying to find out what it was. Um, we obviously took him back to hospital and then um, Ahmad's diagnosis was um, infantile spasms and the doctor confirmed definitely infantile spasms. We went through a lot of testing and stuff and then so that was the first course of medication that he went on because he was still just on milk and he was just on soft and he was just not progressing as fast as any of the other kids. I was be, I've been in the tourism industry for a very long time, so I've um, always been working full time. 
Um, maar ze poot het paar moes mijn mom. She assisted me a lot when it came to him, um, helping me, trying to um, understand him as well and stuff. Um, every Monday, I remember he used to go to, um, to Ahmed's sister-in-law, um, just so that my mom could get a bit of a break. And in the evenings, it was me and Ahmed, um, yeah. Then the year later, it was just very weird. Um, I missed the period for the first time, and we, I did a test without Ahmad knowing, and then boop, I was pregnant. Um, that was the weirdest thing ever. Three months later, Ahmad still didn't believe it, and he wanted to do more tests and stuff because he said, No, it can't be, and stuff because we've obviously been waiting very long. So Zakaria came when we were in. 11 years married, basically March 10th, 10th year, and Zakaria is now 11th year. So when Zakaria was born, it was like having twins. Both of them were on nappies, both of them were on formula and so on. Ahmad was also at home the first month of my maternity, so he helped me very, very much. I still remember it like it was yesterday. We had to change the one and then change the other one and then we didn't know which one we changed first type of thing, so it was really funny. Zakaria obviously was a complete it was completely different. He he was just he just grew up very independently. He was crawling already, he was he, he just we can't remember a lot of things about him because he just he just amazed us. Zakaria's name was, was was something that we chose in terms of the the, the prophet and the story of prophet um, Zakaria and, and um, um, prophet Yahya. If we look at the actual meaning of his name, it means Allah is uh, God is remembered. So for all the years that we've been married, we were always like. God has remembered how to us and Zachariah was there and Alhamdulillah he's been the pillar of strength for his brother. Zachariah plays a big, big role in our lives. Um, I've seen it now as well since I've been at home during lockdown. I've seen it um, <coughs> with his therapy. Majesty is not able to go back to school because um, he can't wear a mask at this COVID. It's just put us into a different light altogether. Zachary, I started school not too long ago, again back into his routine. He goes two days for a week. But for the other days, he was really, really, really was really helping me a lot. So whatever the physio, the OT or the speech therapist used to send me um, for much these routines and much these um, syllabus to complete his um, block at school, um, it was it was basically the two of them were on the same level in terms of schoolwork at this point in time. So numbers, colours, alphabet and things helped the two of them tremendously. And then the importance of how kids need to learn by playing with toys and, and being on the floor um, has really really helped much deep more as well. So Zakaria, it's very, very much, it's fun for Zakaria to be on the floor with his brother, coaching his brother and so on. He is definitely the coach. He, we call him the coach. He, 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 he does everything for his brother. Uh, his brother started crawling during lockdown. I mean, he's seven years old and he is now able to crawl. Um, we, we, we've tried a lot in terms of therapy and stuff. Um, we went to private as well. So, telling me he's doing it wrong. You're doing it right, Marcy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go, Marcy. He doesn't like 
Majdi to get hurt or things like that and he's always telling people um, to there's nothing wrong with him. He's always, he's always that brother, caring, trying to explain to everyone, all the kids, don't stay, but there's nothing wrong with my brother. He can do things, just go and speak to him, don't be shy. Majdi goes horse riding before lockdown, everything was before lockdown. Um, for therapy, Majdi started swimming also when he was three years old. He said, when he got into the van and I said, we're going to ride now. He said, no, I don't want to ride today. <laughs> but when we got here, he was all excited. So Majdi is extremely strong on his legs and he shows potential in terms of wanting to walk. Um, also because he gets very, very excited when he, when he does things, like when his brother is doing things and he wants to try and do things, he climbs off a bed and he tries to stand and he just he's just very motivated and wants to do it and when he sees his brother riding on a bicycle he wants to ride and so on so he he identifies objects and things in terms of what he also wants to do because his brother's doing it um he's obviously wheelchair bound he's been fitted in his second buggy now um he's just shot out in like he grows so quickly it's like he's like a he just he's just very tall but Zakaria also has that um, we he needs Friends, cousins, playing, school, a distraction other than just being with his brother. So he has his time out um, with his cousins and his siblings so that he can play and kick and go on and crazy. And um, so then much he also has his. So when he comes, when the two of them come back from wherever they are, split for the day, it's a whole lot of hugging and kissing and how was your day? We have a good support system in terms of our Hajj friends um, when it comes to Majdi as well. Um, family, I have my siblings and my mom. Majdi also belongs to this um, foundation called uh, Warrior on Wheels. It's, a, it's, it's also a mom of a special needs um, boy. Deirdre and Damien basically. So Deirdre created um, or established a foundation when she, when her son was 19 years old, he's now 21 or 22 years old. So we've been we've been with this foundation now um, for, from the, from the start, and it's and it's basically a mom that identified um, adventure activities for special needs children to obviously include them in things that. You know, normal able-bodied people can do and um, it's really really been uh, fantastic in terms of the social um, breakaway for special needs parents and so on um, we do have a support system going in terms of um, whatsapp groups and things so if anything like kids birthdays and things we're still in contact with a lot of the moms and parents and um, so the adventure activities that much has been on so far has been um, sidecar rides and um, um, surfing lessons and um, you know, there's, there's quite a lot of things oh much he participated in his first junior august cycle tour um, we had a rider and he had a buggy and so the rider obviously pulled the buggy so that was very very amazing um, there are quite a few warrior on wheels moms. This is the organization in a whole that's been riding at the um, the August cycle tour, where parents obviously um, put their kids in their buggies, have a support rider, and actually do the full August cycle tour. So my excuse is always no, me and Ahmad can't get on a bike, but I have the inspiration from a very good friend now, also a warrior mom. She was 46 when she got on a bike for the very first time and she did the August cycle tour with her daughter and her husband. So I take my hat off to her and every day she asks me when am I going to get on a bike and I'm like, um, I have an excuse, I'm going to think of it, don't worry, I won't think of it. She did his first August cycle tour where I let him go around the stadium with a stranger <laughs> um, but I was very very nervous about it so I said so they're obviously telling me now next I need to get on a bike and um, been encouraging Ahmad to get on a bike for a very long time but he just won't <laughs>
And he's got his medal. Let's get it. Ahmed is really, really my support in terms of the kids, especially much, much. He is over the moon for his dad. His dad is his hero. His dad is his everything. I don't think there's a day that goes by that he doesn't ask for his dad first before he asks for me. Although I do everything for you, man, up until now, I tell him every time you're seven years old and I still have to train you happy. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Say cheese, kid. Take the guy. Look at what? Look at Look at what? I don't know, but I think he's got like this two hundred percent memory. <laughs> Where he absorbs everything that he's got in. Yeah, just like he's just like a sponge. He memorizes things that he probably heard once or twice and he, he can he just he just amazes us. We don't sometimes know where he picks things up. Um much he can recite where we we probably listen to a sura once or twice and much he knows what is he recites things in the Quran, we try and Google and then we try and figure out which choice it is that he's busy reciting. I think also the voice of the Cape has really been a very big inspiration in his life. He he speaks like a presenter, he um <laughs> he listens to the adverts on the radio, he knows all the presenters on Voice of the Cape. I uh, they've never met him before, but he <laughs> he knows exactly when the what is ready for <laughs> the next what is he has no idea about time or anything but he just knows when it's fajr the word he's up for fajr in the morning the word he knows exactly asari or he tells akariya put the tv softer and makhrib is always easy karmine first because they have to take turns but he's always first no you don't know because can you stay The video. Huh. Yeah. No problem. Well done. Hold on tight. Hold on. Hold on tight. 
Well done. Well done, Majdi. Well done. Very awesome.